Alrighty, everybody. <laughs> Once again, well, the videos are coming out, aren't they? Um, this this uh, video is actually on Blender. <laughs> First stage. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, uh, one of the add-ons, well, one of the many add-ons, I, I don't think there's not an add-on I don't have, but one of the add-ons out there that just got updated was Fluent. It's a Fluent 2.0 now, and it's got a new user face. This interface right right here it let me tell you it's pretty cool I love it personally myself I like it um, it I, I just installed it tonight I did I just seen on the discord that this got updated and uh, so I've only I mean I, I just now installed it and and did one box in it and, and a grid and thought it was so cool I, I totally dig the new interface um, and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this uh, on this add-on. Um, there'll be a, li a link in the description uh, if you want to pick it up. By the way, I suggest you do if you're into hard service modeling and and all that fun stuff. But um, but yeah, let, let, I mean, let, let's make this nice and quick and sweet. Hopefully, <laughs> you know how I am. Um, so we start out here. We're going to get all the. You can see what the, all these. I haven't really used all of these yet but it's fairly the same as the other one this up here is your wireframes you know technical display bowling visibility turn the bowlings off and on and wireframe display and stuff like that but we're going to click uh, create and i'm going to do uh quick uh now all i did is click once to start this and that, now I'm, I'm just moving my mouse that's it i'm going to click again to set it in place and then I'll move left and right to get my height where I want. We'll, we'll go right about there. Now you saw a, a quick glimpse of that pie. You notice how this is still transparent a little? Uh, that's kind of like telling you, you're, telling you you're not done yet. You're still like in fluent editing mode. Now you right click on it. Now you can go up here to offset and thickness. And you, the check mark means you're done. Or you can just right click and that sets it also now you might ask yourself how do i get back because if you click on this if you click on it now you can't get back to that menu well the, the hotkey for the the ui is f when you install it so as soon as you hit f and this menu pops up you go up here to the top right fluent editor you click on that and now you're back to editing but now you see it's changed now we've got a, a few more things here over here we got first solidify, second solidify up here, first bevel, and second bevel, bevel and taper, and down here we got mirror, array, and radial array or circular array. Um, what what it calls it. So we'll go up here. We'll go our first first bevel, and then move move your mouse left or right to increase or decrease. And we'll go there, right click, and there we got our bevel set. Pretty cool. Now there's there there's also settings. Um, we'll we'll do a taper. We select it. We'll go back up in here, hit on our edit button, pull it up, go up here, do a taper. And instead of doing this, let me open up. Uh, Actually, let me let's do this differently. I gotta open up. We need need our properties and stuff over here. So let me move this back over here. We can see it. Now let's go ahead and hit our taper. Now you see we got our oh tapers open. Yeah, there tapers tapers done now. When I hit the taper, it automatically put it on. But you can use the pie menu. But um, I wanted to show you this. You also got settings when you when you add something. Even with the the cube, and see up here, we have all of our settings for the cube and everything, and the bevel, and all that. And you can come in here. You can uh, left click and move your move your thing around a little bit. Go up here if you want. If it's too big, we can squash it down a little bit. Move it there. It's kind of looking like a weird uh, 
gold bar now, huh? Or an elongated gold bar at least. Uh, we could make it into a gold bar if we wanted. We could stretch it. But anyway, I wanted to show you. I haven't even got to the the cage, the uh, cage, the grids yet. But anyway, let's close back, close that back up. Um, click off, cl click off that. We're we're done with this now. Oh, yeah, we're done with that now. Um, so you got to you got to make sure it's selected because you need to have a fluent object uh, selected for these for the menu and the UI to work. So we're going to go off of that. Let me zoom in here. And now this is for those of you people that love grids, you know, for storm drains and, you know, grids. If you, if you like you're into architecture and you, and, you know, you're making vents and stuff and you want to put a fancy grid and stuff on there and everything. Watch how cool this is. You got, I mean, you got a choice of all kinds of grids. But I'm going to show you the one that I, I like the honeycomb grid. But anyway, we're going to go up here, pull our menu up with the F. Right down here at the bottom. Oh, and you got to have power. You got to have fluid. Uh, power is something I think works. <laughs> anyway, you got to have the power version if you want to. Uh, if you want to have these these at the bottom right here, the wires and grids and uh, cables and and stuff like that. So make sure you get the uh, the power ver power trip version. But click on that, and it looks like nothing's happened. But again, we need our pie menu. So click on this and look at all of these, all of these different grids that we can have here. But I like this one. I like the hexagonal or honeycomb one. Now you can see you can't move it or you, you, can't, you won't be able to do anything because it just drops it there. So you got to click on it and see when you click on it, you, well, we can't move it, so you might be thinking, but that's another menu for thickness, position, hole sizes, grid size, and, and to change it and stuff. But you need to right-click. Now, see, after I right-clicked, now that menu doesn't come up. And when I click on it, it actually selects the, the grid. And I'm just going to move it up here so we can see it. Because it's kind of thin. Let me zoom into it. It's kind of thin. And we can change that. Again, we go into our grid up here. And then go up to thickness. And now, see, we can do whatever we want. We can make it as thick as we want. Yeah, you know, okay. Let, let's just say that's good right there. Again, left click, makes it set. And, I mean, you see how quickly we got this... Um, bar down I guess we threw a grid up here um, now you see uh, just like a uh, hard ops uh, or box cutter you know you end up with a lot of modifiers and stuff you know when you're when you're doing non-destructive and everything so you, you need a you need a way and kit ops and you know, everything when, when you're working and stuff and you got a lot of stuff going on here and all the you know you need a way to apply all of these and they have that I'm going to select all here with A. I just hit A and select both of them. Pull up our menu again. And this flag right here will tell you. Autocomplete. Now watch watch over here. Watch all the modifiers. When I click this right, when I click this right here, click that. All the modifiers are gone. Everything is gone. These are all uh, edible mesh now. If I if I go in here and click at it, you can see these are all edible now and we can go down here oh, let's move the grid out we can go down here oh nope I want to get my edit menu and same thing everything's edible everything's been applied make sure you make sure you look at see the red lines right here you can see we got creases right here that are holding these two edges so if you try to you know if you get shading issues and stuff you know Basic 3D stuff here, people. That's about, you know, that's all. No, you understand what you're looking at. Um, for you total beginners out there, then that's something for you to learn. <laughs> and you might, you guys might be wondering about my pie menu system here, and that's exactly what it is. Um, those of you that might not know, you know, move this down a little bit, and maybe move it back over. 
just to get it set. But anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. Like I said, I just got it installed. I haven't really had the time to play with everything and and get play around with it. It's still fluent, basically. Uh, just a new UI. And um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool, personally, myself. Um, like I said, I'm going to you know play around with it this week and you know learn more learn you know all i can about it and everything and um we'll start building this some stuff and and putting some stuff out with a uh, fluent now and like i said link in the description for those of you that want to that uh want to check it out and um i'll see you here or we'll see you in the discord uh, fluent has a discord also if you're having troubles or anything you can go on the discord and ask plenty of people there to help but we'll catch you guys all later and yeah check this out man i like it i like it a lot yeah da, da, da. <laughs> all right catch you guys later